gonna give him that hawk too and spit on that thing. You get me? <laughs> That's what type of swag I'm on today, man, with everything. I'm feeling like Macho Man, one of my favorite wrestlers. But welcome back to another video, man. Welcome back to the channel, man. I'm glad that y'all are here today. It's something that you all have been waiting for. This is the video y'all have been waiting for, man. So right now, I'm headed to go see my boy Danny. Uh, we about to actually see how good his work really is, man. So I'm about to put him to the test. Carbon fiber trunk is right here with me, man. So... We about to go ahead and as y'all know the carbon fiber is in good in good condition but i want him to like clear coat it put like three or four uh coats of clear on it and also uh put that rainbow effect on the trunk man because i can't have it on the hood and not on the trunk because it just pops so much especially on this color so he know what to use uh i'm just going ahead drop it off today and then i'll pick it up tomorrow um so yeah, we're gonna see how this looks. So I'm heading up there to him now. Look at race car friends with the GTI. Okay, I see what you're talking about. That joint look good, man. With that being said, major shout out to the MLC, man. Major shout out to race car friends, Q the Chaotic, the Hunter Gang, Nate, and myself, Blueprint on that lead. And yeah, just look at this view, man. I must say, like, I really like get on the highway here man because every time i get on there you got these views on views like look at the mountains man the clear blue sky also um while i'm up here facing this way um the carbon fiber hood something i didn't uh talk about like if you notice like this is the view that you get compared to the stock hood it has a little bit of a cow to it um but it's not that bad I actually like the look of it. It gives it a little bit aggressive look, but it's not too aggressive. You know, like the Kobo hoods. But if you guys are interested in getting my style type of uh, carbon fiber hood, like this is the look that you get. So it's not over, like it's not overkill or it's not over protruding like your visual aspect of the car um, or, or your visibility, I should say. I don't think people talk about it that much, but yeah, this is, this is it. So just a little sample. Uh, I sprayed a little bit of the metallics on this heart or on this helmet. Let me see. Yep, if y'all can see it, it's kind of hard to tell, but with our naked eye, like you can see it really good. Yeah. So we made it in here. Like I'm not finna show y'all his whole house, but yeah, that's the the wife uh, SRT outside. I started up. <laughs> but yeah, look at the welds, man, with the trunk. Like, that is a hellified combination right there, man. I really like the way that, look, I really like these welds, man. Like, <laughs> I want those with the lip. But I have the VMSs. I'm not riding on my drag setup all the time, but this is first time looking at the trunk, seeing it. He can lift it too, like, how light is it? Is it really heavy or is it light? Like, he'll know. Yeah. Like, look how easy he's picking it up. Oh my. <laughs> And he's got those little wood pieces on it too, so it's gonna drop like two pounds. Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna weigh it while I'm getting ready to spray it and everything. Okay. I'll post that in my video. Okay. I ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? I'm not oh, I don't care. In your videos, you can you can decide to, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Uh, so dropped it off to Danny. He looking at it, man. Like I'm telling y'all, like that trunk is super light. So. He about to go ahead and do the work, get set up for it, man. Um, so this is all gonna be in the same video. I'm not gonna save it for like a separate video, but the next time um, y'all see it, which would be a couple days, I get it like, what's today, Friday? So I'll pick it up Sunday, um, he'll be done. So we'll go ahead and see what that looks like. But for now, we're gonna take a quick pause. We're gonna take a quick pause. I cannot talk today. We're gonna take a quick pause and then we'll show y'all the finishing results of what it looked like. But so far, with the with the base touch that he did on the helmet, it's gonna come out good, man. So one of one, that's why I'm calling myself the blueprint. One of one, like y'all gonna see a carbon fiber look like this, man. So let's uh let's wait to the finishing results. All right, y'all. This is the very next day, of course. So uh, as of now, uh, I'm heading up on the road to. Uh, go see Danny and pick up 
the carbon fiber trunk and look at all the work he has uh, done to it, man. So he showed me some clips on IG. I share one of them to you guys, man, of the process, man. And it's just phenomenal, like how it's coming out. Even he's shocked about it, like how, how well it's coming out, man. So uh, I'm heading up there now. I got me some E85 jugs with me so I can fill up because it's a spot I wanna get some E85. And uh, yeah, it's just nice that this is coming out how I want to because as y'all know, the hood has looked phenomenal after he done clear coated. But this right here, I'm actually um, showing out his work too because he do this on the side. He's a professional painter, man. So this is what he do. So you guys can, um, once y'all see his work, y'all can go ahead and get y'all stuff over there to him, man. Like he can paint, ceramic coat. He even do porting too. Like he just got him some new stuff where he can actually do porting or like manifolds and stuff like that. And he does a pretty good work, man. I'm not even gonna lie, man. Cause I feel like if I advertise or endorse somebody, like I mean it because I'm supporting them, man. I don't like putting my name on something and you guys get it and it's like bullshit. Like I just, just not that type of person, man. Uh, okay. And you guys about to uh, see the work now. About to All right, y'all, I'm about to get the very first experience of seeing it being clear coated and Jeez. This joint look way better in person. Yeah, look at that. See, I told y'all, Danny knows what he's doing, man. Like, and you can see it right here. How they got the rainbow effect, man. So hopefully we get it outside. But you can see it right here, though, too, man. Like, he did a good job. Very good job on it, man. Yeah, we put the. I got that third. Plate ah, he got the third brake light gear for me too. Yep, I, I did. I stuck it down and everything, so it's in there. Okay, sweet. See, he got it bolt on, ready to go. And you can kind of see it too, like the uh, the shimmer. I don't know if it shows on camera good. Yeah, we'll have but, to take it yeah. so you can check it out. It's dude, it looks amazing. It... All right, so we're gonna take it outside real quick because you know we in inside, so you all can like see it. Look, you got it laying down. You can't even tell it. And then when the sun, when the sun hits it at a certain angle, you can be able to see. It. Like right now, the sun is not out. Yeah, once the sun comes. But when out, the sun well, come out, you hit. can you can you can see it. But y'all seen what it looks like on the hood, so y'all know the trunk gonna have to match too. So we about to wrap this up and then put in the car. Then I have him like explain it to you guys, like what he all did to it. And if you guys want the same type of work. Hit him up. Okay. Don't and he also so. dremeled this for me because y'all know if y'all get these trunks, uh, this third brake light do not go in uh, tough and uh, the right way. And you see under here, he didn't spray nothing. Like, <laughs> it's good to go, man. This is ready to get it mounted on the car. All right, y'all. So we tried to give it, wait till the sun come out more, but it didn't. So it just want to hide behind this cloud here. So I got Danny here. We have to bring it back and put in, wrap it up and then put it inside the uh, car. So I'm gonna have him like explain to you guys a little bit, not his whole process, but like what he did to get it to where it was at, what y'all have seen so far. So initially uh, he dropped it off as you guys will see in his video there. Um, okay. Anderson does a pretty good job clear coating and everything, but you gotta knock the clear coat off. So it feels real weird sand in the clear coat, but you sand all the clear coat down. I, I blasted it with that, uh, that metallic that you guys see. Mm -hmm. um, after you hit that metallic, I let it dry for a whole day. I like to let my uh, base coat dry. Okay. Um, and then the next day, come back to it and shoot a couple coats of clear. it right in the garage. Okay. Kind of tent myself in, wet it down, and do it in there. Okay. Um, and then, like, how many, like, uh, like how many coats of clear did you put on here too? Like, so it's got three coats of clear on it. Just um, like the hood, y'all. Yeah. So like, three is a favorite number, I guess. Like, <laughs> it looks really good with three. After okay. You go to like four or five coats. In okay. My opinion. Okay. It comes too thick. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. It almost looks fake. Okay. Um, okay. It look as good. Okay. Um, so three coats is usually my sweet spot. Okay. Or sometimes if it doesn't look good on number three, but okay. it usually looks really good. Okay. Um, and then I actually like to, uh, after I clear coat my stuff, I like to wet sand. So I okay. wet sand this entire thing down. Okay. 1500 grit, 2000 grit, 2500 grit, 3000 grit. Dang. Okay. And I cut it and I buff it all. So I did that to the entire 
trunk. Okay. Trunk. Okay. Uh, okay. So you'll notice when you get it into the sunlight and everything, it's really, really smooth, and that's why. Yeah, and that and that's what we want too. Like got it from Anderson. I didn't want to put it on the car. I know you guys wanted it to be on the car like ASAP, but again, like he did little things like, um, be, like he did little things like with the color and stuff he did on there, but he also put the third brake light on there for me too, which is a pain in the ass <laughs> to do. So, I mean, if you guys want like work like this, like uh, doing like the clear coat or any type of paint work, cause this guy is a professional. Like literally, man, he's a professional. So if you guys need anything, stuff too. So if you guys want to send it to me, you're not in Arizona or whatever. But we can work out shipping. Just hit me in the DMs. Yeah, uh, tell them where they can find you at too. Like, I know you got multiple pages, but which one? They, you're, they... you're gonna best be able to find me on Instagram. Okay. Uh, that real car guy. So, okay. Um, look, okay. Uh, look me up on there. That'll be the best way to get a hold of me. Hit me up in the DMs. If I don't answer you right away, it's because I'm a busy person. But I'll get to you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so just yeah, hit me up. Yeah. So, uh, like that, man, that's going to wrap this video up, man. So, I'm going to flip this camera. I don't know, can you see me or not? He got, I got Danny in the background, too, man. But that's going to wrap this video up. If you guys like this video, y'all know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.